I don't know if you guys seen the information last night. Uh, we had some some military activity in the skies, which could have been, a lot of people think, because of the attempted assassination of the uh, Slovakian, which they say now he's in a, an induced coma. Uh, he was out publicly and someone walked up on him and shot him. Now, as according to what I saw on New York Prepper last night, there was a lot of uh, doomsday. We had a doomsday plane and some nuke planes up in the air with weird patterns in what they were doing and circling. Um, again, we still have all of the military advancing. And this thing with Israel advancing into another part of the region, which is getting ready to kick off. I mean, you know, I'm just ready for it. Just, just get it on already what, what do we wait well we knew we do know what we're waiting on but um now we also i don't know if you guys paid attention to this yesterday i've been posting it but the money system in cuba has completely collapsed their financial system is in ruins now people woke up yesterday morning and couldn't get money out of the bank which is crazy if you think about it um or is this the the beginning of the downfall of them bringing in new digital stuff? Now, I also saw that there are some people trying to pass in certain states um, the new digital driver's license. Everything is going digital soon and very soon. And um, I wanted to get on here and talk to you about that Airbnb as well. If you go online and look up their policy change for Jan for June 6th, and it reads as though it's going to be a weather situation. Like they are pre-forecasting something bad to happen this summer. Now, we got two hurricanes forming, from what I understand. And then let's not forget about the next rad system that they're using to electrify the atmosphere and blow it up. And everybody that's had those bowls of chicken soup I think they're going to try to combine that with a climate change or a or a climate lockdown or whatever. Uh, that's the plan, because they know slowly if they keep blowing up the atmosphere and people have been showing this on radar that the long term effect is a slow effect that we're coming up on this election. I and mean, this is very important. We're coming up on this election. And then there's supposed to be a debate between Donald Duck and Old and Ridiculous in June. June is a heavy month. I don't know what's going to be happening naturally, but there are things planned for June that they want to see happen. So we have a lot of things going on that's really being swept under the table and not too many people know about it. But if you get on the right social media sites, you'll find out all this information. So an assassination attempt yesterday, we got heavy military activity, uh, a bunch of directives and code messages went out last night over the shortwave. And we have threats of possibly, and you know, and again, it's like, it's a threat, but yeah, but y'all ain't done nothing yet. Uh, Ukraine and Russia going, here's the thing about Ukraine. What I found out, and the reason why this country, and we all know this, but there was another aspect that was brought to light about Ukraine, and why we keep sending them so much money, is that there is organ harvesting going on over there, and trafficking going on over there, of babies not just making the the bioweapon but they're doing a lot of a lot of diabolical things over there in Ukraine so it would make sense the reason why we keep sending them billions and billions and billions of dollars but yet we're in a deficit it makes no sense at all we're steadily sending them money. Now, 
Benjamin Netanyahu just came out yesterday because because old and ridiculous says he wasn't sending any more weapons over to Israel. Israel said, we don't need your help. We got God. Prophetic is happening right before us. He said, Benjamin said, we don't need you. We got God. We'll fight it alone as we always done with the help of God. That's what Benjamin said. Because old and ridiculous, because old, because because Israel does not want to line up with old and ridiculous in this in our government and their plans to try to pacify both sides. Or we're not sending you any more munitions. Israel said that we don't need it. We got everything we need. And uh, the Most High is going to protect them. So just like it said in Zephaniah chapter 2, as I explained before, people are protesting the prophecy of God about what he would do to Gaza and families and, 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 and babies and children after he gave them a warning to get out, both in the book and naturally. So there is so much information that I'm trying to figure out. You know, I'm just giving you something brief right now. But uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, folks. A lot of stuff. Someone recorded, and I put this video up. Someone recorded a solar CME with their phone. And you can clearly see something come out of the sun and go back into the sun. In real time, they recorded a solar CME. We've had one of the biggest ones that yet yeah, yesterday that exploded off of the sun. And someone actually recorded it. Okay, so... A lot of things going on, a lot of things. Today is Thursday. I'll get back into uh, the verses, but uh, that's what's going on, man. Just just, just a lot of things happening, and I am really concerned. This election, man, we cannot be here for this. I know God's in control. He will and he will not let. But I got a bad feeling about this election. I got a bad feeling about this summer. If we're still here, it's in God's hands. It's in God's hands, most definitely. But what's shaping up is civil war. That's what I'm looking at. They have brought in these folks from all over the world and all over the world. They've been bringing them in other countries. And the rumor is that that's your new UN soldier. Are these are these illegals? And folks here in, in America ain't going to go for that. There will be blood in the street. This is a ticking time bomb situation that we're on. This world, especially in this country, is a ticking time bomb. OK, and we got to always pray that we are worthy of escape the things to come. That's just a quick update. Uh, I'll be back on here later on if you don't see any more little small short videos posted, but there's a lot happening in the world today. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.